Hello, everyone. My name is Adam Fuller. I am a founder and partner at a growth private equity firm in the United States called Bergal Sagemount. And I'm honored to present at the seventh annual World Latvia Economic and Innovations Forum. Wish I could be there in person. Uh, Riga is a city that has become near and dear to my heart recently, uh, but hopefully I'll receive a, another invitation next year to attend and join you all to continue to celebrate and support the economic development of Latvia and Riga as a city. I was asked to provide some thoughts and perspectives on what makes Riga uh, a great city to do business in. And so I thought it would be a fun exercise to look at how to answer that question through the lens of the investor. And so we'll get to that in a second. But before we do, I should give you some background on myself. So I was born and raised in California in the Silicon Valley, very fortunate to attend Stanford University where I studied economics. I spent about uh, two years after school and in, uh, in investment banking and have been focused on technology uh, companies and advising and investing in them ever since 2005. Uh, after my investment banking stint, I spent uh, about five years at Goldman Sachs in their merchant banking division where I got to invest into growing software companies around the world. And in 2012, I left Goldman to start Sagemount with a few other colleagues. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. I currently live in California in the Bay Area. I moved back about 18 months ago. Prior to that was in New York City for about a decade. So have a pretty good understanding of the East Coast versus West Coast investor frameworks. And I'm very happily married, have three beautiful daughters all under the age of seven. So they keep me very happy, but very busy and chaotic at the same time. And I spent a lot of time uh, with my colleagues at Sagemount trying to build the firm up. We've uh, been at it for almost 10 years. We've raised about $4 billion and we're laser focused on investing into founder run, self funded, profitable growing technology companies. And we invest anywhere between 50 million to $200 million per company and uh, are very much um, a recurring revenue investor, meaning we back companies that have very predictable revenue streams that we can underwrite appropriately. I have a lot of experience investing internationally. So I've backed companies in Norway, in the UK, in Israel, but most relevant for this audience is an investment I'm very proud to have announced earlier this year, a $130 million investment into Printful, which hopefully most of you are familiar with. Uh, Printful is one of the best employers in the city of Riga. I'm very thrilled to be on the board of the company. Uh, we invested into Printful at over a billion dollar valuation, which makes uh, Printful Latvia's first technology unicorn. A unicorn in private equity and venture capital speak is a privately owned company that's achieved a valuation over a billion dollars. And that's an incredible achievement. And what's even more incredible is that the management team that's based in Riga, the founding team that's, that's really led the charge in terms of growing Printful, they self-financed this company. They didn't raise any venture capital. We were the first institutional money to, to be invested in the company eight years after its founding. So uh, I've, I've been incredibly impressed with the talent, the leadership, the strategy, and the execution of the management team that's, that Printful has based in Riga. And as you can see, the company's had a tremendous growth curve uh, and they're really the leader in, in global digital apparel and on-demand printing for hundreds of thousands of merchants around the world. Sage Mount, uh, one of Sage Mount's largest investments is Printful. And given the fact that the company is based in Riga, Riga is a centerpiece of Sage Mount's investment. And that's not, there's no surprise to me why that's the case. Riga has a fantastic culture, hardworking people that dedicate themselves to their work and incredible, incredibly talented people. We, at Printful, we have, I've met some of the smartest uh, technologists, some of the uh, most innovative sales and marketing folks. Uh, some of the most creative designers, uh, top-notch operations and support talent. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of, of the city of Riga and, and so much so that on my last trip, and I've been able to visit Riga twice this year, I bought a Christmas tree ornament and it's sitting at the top of my family's Christmas tree. And now my kids can't wait to go and visit the country with me next year uh, when, I, when I hopefully am able to visit in the spring or the summer. And I can't wait to share um, the, the wonderful culture of Riga with them. So let's get into the meat of the presentation. So as an investor, what do we, what's our job? Our job is to find opportunities for investment where our capital can generate a high return on investment or ROI. And one of the frameworks that we use to evaluate high ROI opportunities is what we call SWOT, a SWOT analysis, where we look at the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats that are addressing a, a particular opportunity, investment opportunity that we're looking at. 
And so what happens if we look at the SWOT framework and apply it to Riga? Well, we're going to do that right now. We're going to look at four key vectors, people or the labor pool, productivity of that labor pool, technology, which is an important factor in productivity and innovation, and lastly, investment or access to capital, which is incredibly important for a growing economy. We're, we've looked at, we're going to look at statistics from a number of different different sources, predominantly the OECD and some uh, EU data from their Commission on Education. We're also going to evaluate some private market data to understand what the investment backdrop looks like for uh, the Baltic states. The city of Riga is a great city. I've been there a couple of times, as I mentioned. There's about over 600,000 people that live there. It's about a third of the population of Latvia. And it's been in decline since the 1990s, like the rest of the country. Uh, but it has some great uh, foundations, the educational institutions, um, the, the, the diversity of the industries. Um, and so we're going to leverage a bunch of more Latvia-centric as a country-centric data and apply and extrapolate some of that to the city of Riga, uh, just given the population density and the concentration in, in Riga itself. So let's start with the SWOT analysis around people. One of the biggest, um, strongest attributes of, of, the, of the population in Latvia is the education system. Uh, Latvia invests more as a percentage of GDP than the EU average, and that's paying dividends in terms of the educational attainment, in terms of much lower um, uh, underachievement, uh, rates and in terms of the uh, success of the graduates. And you can see that in the data here when compared from 2009 to 2018, Latvia has made some incredible movement here. But there are some uh, weaknesses in terms of the population itself. You've got an aging population, right? So the Latvian median age has been increasing, uh, which means that the, media, the, the, the the working age population is shrinking and the population itself is in decline, uh, which is largely stemmed from emigration into other EU countries. But I, I'm a firm believer that Latvia will be able to continue to retain that talent, especially as it continues to invest in education and technology uh, and, and companies like Printful that are really making it a, a cornerstone of their investment to be headquartered in Riga are gonna drive a lot of that uh, retain, retainment of the population. Um, there's some big opportunities um, that that, that Riga benefits from, even in the context of, of declining population. You know, as the population of Latvia has become more urban over the last 70 years, you know, Riga as the capital city and really the hub of economic um, activity has benefited as being really a gravita has, having gravitational pull uh, around uh, the innovation and the, and the talent pool itself. And so I, I think that's a big opportunity for Riga going forward. But there's some threats, right? They're one of the, as a, one of the, the, the threats to an aging population is the worry that that aging population won't have the skill sets to really uh, be successful in the future economies. And if you look at adult education in Latvia, it certainly underperforms in terms of some of the, um, so, you know, some other countries in the EU. And that's something that we need to emphasize uh, more of is training and continuing to train and, and teach uh, adult learners so that they can have the skills to, to be successful in the future economies. Now let's look at productivity. I think this is some really some really interesting data here. Um, you know, Latvia has got a great economy. I, I, it's it's a an economy that is growing. It's rebounded very nicely from the COVID uh, uh, recession. If you look at the last five years, Latvia is growing just as fast as the United States is from a percentage perspective, and it's outpacing the Euro area, France, Germany, the United Kingdom. So you should be very proud of your of your country and, and Riga is a major uh, centerpiece of that. And as you can see, even uh, from a per capita standpoint, Latvia, while it still has some gap to close, it's definitely closing the gap in terms of uh, GDP per capita and productivity per worker uh, when compared to uh, other OECD countries. And I'm sure that that trend line will continue. Uh, but there are some there are some weaknesses here, right? There is a productivity gap in in Latvia when compared to other OECD countries. You can see that in the chart here. Um, we need to focus on increasing the productivity of 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 a unit of labor through investments in technology and investments in uh, management uh, and skills training. And that's something that you know companies like Printful take very, very seriously, and I believe is, is a, is a long-term benefit, benefit to, the, to the city. Uh, there's some big opportunities, though, and, and one of the big opportunities that, that, that I believe exists for the city of Riga and Latvia as a whole 
is uh, the opportunity to really match skills with the right jobs. Uh, if you look at this chart, you can see that, you know, when compared to other, the OECD average, Latvia definitely ha it has made some big improvements here, uh, but there's still a, a big opportunity to, to make sure that the right people are in the right jobs. And it, when that happens, productivity will increase. Uh, and there, but there's some there's some longer term you know threats that we need to also talk about with respect to productivity. You know, one of the uh, most important frameworks that we look at when we're investing into a company is is the is the management team and the caliber of the management team. Does the management team that we're backing in a particular company have experience and skills that will lead them to be successful? You can see here um, uh, this was a survey of of a, of a number of a bunch of. Uh, private equity firms, over 100, where they were rated the caliber, caliber of the management team uh, or the management team's lack of skills as either the primary reason for a successful exit or the primary reason for an unsuccessful investment. So the skill sets of the management teams is, is something that we care about a lot as an investor. And if you look at you know, Latvia, and this would certainly apply to Riga, uh, there's not a lot of firms that are managed by professional managers. And that's something that will improve over time, but it's going to require effort. It's going to require a dedication uh, you know, by, by companies like Printful to continue to invest in their people and make sure that we're um, upskilling and, and training folks properly. Now let's talk about the technology side. So technology, one of the things I love about, uh, one of the strengths uh, in terms of the technology uh, in industry in Latvia is that it's growing so quickly. I mean, Printful is a great example, right? That bi the, the business itself has, has been growing at a 65% compound annual growth rate over the last few years. If you look at the service sector exports in Latvia, technology is the fastest growing by, by far, and it's now one of the largest service sector exports in the country. And that's really being led by the city of Riga and the te the techno as a technology hub for the Baltic region. But there are some weaknesses too. As a, a, as a country, um, Latvian firms definitely lag behind the rest of the OECD in terms of utilization of technology. Technology is is important when you're trying to run your business. If you have you know the right broadband access, do you use cloud computing technology so that your employees can access databases and work productivity tools uh, when they're working remotely? Uh, you know, th there's certainly some room for improvement. Uh, with respect to you know the Latvian economy as it, as it relates to the use of technology across firms, uh, and that that certainly would apply to Riga as well. But there's a big opportunity in technology, and this is one of the reasons why we made a huge investment in the country. There's a growing ecosystem in Latvia that supports innovation, entrepreneurship, and venture capital. Uh, and there's about 500 plus startups in Latvia uh, per the Latvian Startup Guide, and we we hope to be that we hope that at Sagemount, Printful will be the first of many investments that we make into the region. Um, but there are some threats, right, that we need to be conscious about in terms of technology. There's a shortage of digital skills inside of Latvia and inside of Riga, and that 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 skill that skills gap needs to be narrowed to promote. Um, the, the the type of growth that we think the technology sector can really achieve here. Here you can see that there's, um, you know, Latvia is is under the OECD average in terms of um, individuals with basic or above basic digital skills, right? At at uh, at those levels, it, it's you know it's going to be challenging to have um, a population that could be as productive as it possibly can be. Um, now let's look at one of the the areas that's near and dear to my heart: investment, right? Um, one of the strengths that Latvia has benefited from, um, you know, over the last decade is 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 benefit from the EU, and and it's something that you know I'm sure um, many of you here uh, are 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 promoting and and want to want that level of support from the EU to continue. But um, there's a weakness at the same time. Venture capital investments remain very very low in terms of um, GD at percentage of GDP for for Latvia and for Riga. Um, we're trying to change that at Sagemount by making a big investment into Printful and into the management team in Riga, but but there's going to need to be other firms that that have a sh similar mindset and uh, and and really invest a lot of time and effort getting to know the economy better. The opportunity is that there is an increasing focus on the Baltic region by venture capitalists and private equity firms. If you look at just the amount of venture capital and private equity money that's been raised 
with funds that are focused on investing in the Baltics. This is a chart that that lays this out over the last um, you know 25 years. And as you can see, in the last two years alone, over four and a half billion dollars has been raised by funds focused on the Baltics. And so um, I'm very confident that the investment in in the region will continue to be very, very strong going forward. But there are some threats, right? Finance is still a big obstacle to um, to companies. That's something that they 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 cite on a regular basis. And um, you know, hopefully, U.S. based and and European based uh, and and hopefully Latvian based uh, venture capital and private equity can help narrow the gap in terms of access to finance for for high growth businesses. So that's the SWAT scorecard. Um, hopefully, this was a fun fun exercise. It was certainly fun for me to look at. Um, but I want to make one more one more comment before I go. Um, we have we have a big opportunity at Printful. I wanted to to announce this to, to the group. Um, we're we're currently hiring a, a chief financial officer at the company. It's an open position. The, the 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 position is based in Riga. Again, we're investing a lot of resources in Riga, uh, and so um, we're really looking for an experienced finance leader um, that has. Um, uh, has worked at some at a publicly traded company before, and and is looking to join, uh, you know, what I, what I believe is the best private private company in Latvia, and and based in Riga. And so, if you have any interest in uh, in learning more about the opportunity, you can reach out to me, Adam Fuller at SageMount dot com. Um, be happy to tell you more about the opportunity. But hopefully, this was uh, a fun uh, presentation for everyone. I certainly um, have enjoyed getting to know the 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 city of Riga over the last. A uh, year and and change, and um, I can't wait to go visit again and and continue to to work with my colleagues at Printful. Uh, but but again, it's been an honor to to speak with you today, and I hope that you uh, you you learned something from this presentation. Take care.